This is one of my favorite things to teach. I love the stages of the sale, and those of you who have been in my world and are making money because of it also love the stages of the sale. Okay, so here is the here are the first steps that you want to go through to make sure that you've checked these boxes. Okay, first of all, you must know what you're driving them to. So what are we talking about here? This is really anything from the second you start to talk to someone to the next step and the next step and the next step. There's just one next step, not five. Now, if you have five stairs, let's just say, and you know ultimately which the fifth is, that's good because you can do something called seeding, okay, which is planting the seed. Right? So it's basically if I talk about the FEM mentorship or I talk about my revenue accelerator program, I'm seeding because I know what the next steps are. But right now, maybe the next step is just, you know, well, right now the step is right now get them motivated to take action. And then I know the next step, if someone wants to know about my programs, would be to, if you're here in the room, to sign up for my program or it's going to be to have a conversation with me. Right? So I know what those next steps are. Okay, so you need to know what those next steps are. And you want to know where you're starting from. We're going to go over that next. But first, you need to know what you're driving them to, OK? Second checkbox here is got to have a system. got to follow the system. And then you have to test it, track it, and tweak it. This is one of the reasons why the FEM mentorship is so successful, is because I can give you all the information once, and then you'll go try it, and that's fine. But if you don't have anyone to bounce it off of, and test it, and track it, and tweak it, I mean, Mary Beth is like the poster child for tracking it and tweaking it and then getting a huge financial result. That wouldn't happen if she didn't track it. So we got to know what's happening. For example, if you go to a networking event, how many of you have been to a networking event before? Yes, everybody. So if you go to a networking event, how many of you know exactly what you're driving them to? Mm, kind of. What are you driving them to? So you want them to have a belief to drive them to what? to hire you. So you want to go to a networking event. Let's test this. So you go to a networking event and the next step you think is to hire you. Wait, hold on. Is that right? No. It doesn't sound right. Okay, now it doesn't sound right. Okay, cool. So that would be cool. That would be awesome. We go to a networking event. We're like, hey, I'm Robin Crane. Nice to meet you. I have mentorship. Great. Give me the money in your pockets. I'm hired. That would be cool. Right. Sign on the dotted line. I'm like, oh yeah, by the way, I have contracts. I'll be taking your credit card right now. So what are you really driving them to? A meeting. Okay, good. Now that meeting, by the way, I like to call, I have a name for that, but it just depends on where you are in the stage of the sale. Typically from a networking event, you're actually driving them to what I, I actually generically call a cup of coffee because you're not, you don't know that they're ready, they, they're not raising their hand and saying, I want help yet. Now you may go to a networking event and they say, oh my gosh, you do event planning, I totally need that. Then you can drive, they can skip that like cup of coffee, which is basically like a connection meeting, whatever, and you can go straight to what's a, what we call a discovery call. I'm about to go over this discovery session. But my point is that you go to into a networking event, and that was a great example, thank you, I planted you well, because I wanted you to not know, okay? So that was good that you didn't know. If you came here knowing everything, that would be an issue. So it's good you're learning something. But you go to a networking event, most people are thinking that though, or they don't think it through. But that's kind of their intention, to get hired, right? To get a client, but that's not what people are ready for. They're not ready to hire you from a networking event. Even from a speaking engagement, they're not typically ready to hire you. Right, so you just gotta get them to the next step, and ultimately, yeah, they'll hire you. That's cool. Okay, good. So we have to know the next step is, and then we gotta test it. So if you went to a networking event, we're like, my outcome is to get five cups of coffee, which is basically just a meeting with them to get to know them, and to find out if they do want your help. And so if you got five, like in order to get five cups of coffee, you probably have to get at least like 10 people to say they want a cup of coffee. You wanna meet, they're willing to meet, or they at least give you your card. And then you gotta track it. So you're like, okay, I went to this networking event. You write it down in your spreadsheet. You guys will learn this in wrap if you're in it. And then it's like from there, you're like, okay, I went to this networking event. How many, um, how many cards did I collect? Let's say 10. How many cups of coffee did I actually get? Let's just say it was five. Now we know. Cool, if you do that enough, we can figure out the average. Now we know the activity equals this many calls and ultimately you're gonna track that as well. So you gotta test it, you gotta track it, and you gotta tweak it. It's not gonna work every time, it's definitely not gonna work the first time. Okay, that's why, like I said, it's valuable to be able to go bounce back and forth and that's why these guys have had so much success.